So I'm Pam Birtle, I'm Associate Professor of Psychology in the University of Leeds. Today what we're doing is we're doing a community mapping project. This is part of a bigger project that we're doing which looks at how people can belong in green spaces. So we're interested in how people in the local community feel about their green spaces, who accesses them and who doesn't access them, and how we can use those green spaces in order to build community cohesion and improve sense of belonging to the area. We know from um, research already that green spaces promote sense of well-being. What we're doing in this project is that we're looking to see how we can bring belonging into policies about green spaces. So there's all sorts of policies about planning and so forth, but actually looking at kind of the way that people can belong in those spaces. We're hearing about where people kind of don't necessarily feel welcomed into spaces. So I think there's kind of cultural issues and cultural habits, senses of who owns things, and I think there's something around people having agency or having permission, whether they feel like they are allowed in this space, this is a space that is for them. As academics, we cannot come into a community and impose our views. It's absolutely important that we listen. And actually, I think what our role is in this is to facilitate people talking together for us to amplify, synthesize, distill, and be able to take that into policy. We've got privilege as academics where we can access people like the council, where we can speak in their language, both, you know, kind of policy language and, and actually, you know, physically in English. Um, what we wanted to do is to be able to listen, and that's a massive part of this project. You know, we are not going to go and say, oh, this is what the academic literature says, this is therefore what you should do. And say, this is what's worked here, and here are the people's voices telling you how it's worked. So we can take their narratives, and we can take their stories, and really distill those and synthesise them to pull out the kind of overarching message.